Hi everyone, welcome back to HealthNet Nutrition. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today's video is another Healthy Tip Tuesday, and I know it's been like forever ago that I did one of these, um, but I recently was making spaghetti squash, and then I realized a lot of people probably don't know how to make it, because I only found out about spaghetti squash, it's kind of embarrassing, only a few, like a couple years ago, I was like, whoa, where did that, where, where did my grocery store have that? And apparently it does. And it's just, I've passed by it so many times, walking down the grocery store aisles, and I never knew what an amazing vegetable this is, or the squash is. So I wanted to share with you guys how great of a pasta alternative it is, whether you are celiac or gluten intolerant, or you just want to switch up your regular old pasta, not that it's old, but if you're just sick of regular pasta, um, you could try brown rice pasta, or you could try spaghetti squash pasta, and this is just like a fun recipe to make. Also, I have a really yummy roasted tomato and red pepper pasta sauce that works really good with this dish. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into how to make or how to cook spaghetti squash. So you're going to, of course, need a big spaghetti squash, some coconut oil, and some water. You're first going to want to chop off the top and the bottom. This just makes it easier to stand on the cutting board um, so it doesn't slip around while you slice it in half. You can lightly steam it if you want, just make it a little bit easier to cut through, but if you have a good knife and some muscle, then you can do this, trust me. Once you've chopped off the ends, you can go ahead and make sure it's st sturdy on the cutting board and slice it straight down the middle. And someone gave me the tip of slicing it horizontally so that way you get longer spaghetti rings, which is kind of cool. I wish I knew that before I filmed this, but that's another option as well. And then you're just gonna go ahead and scoop out all the seeds with a spoon, just like you do on Halloween, except we're not gonna carve these, we're gonna eat them. So you're just gonna keep scraping and pulling out all of the gooey parts until you are left with a semi-clean spaghetti squash center. Then go ahead and pop them into your cooking or baking tray. And I just like to take a little bit of coconut oil. This is optional. And I just like to give my spaghetti squash a good rub down. This just kind of helps to make sure it doesn't dry out while it's in the oven and doesn't burn or anything. Um, like I said, this is optional. You can totally omit this if you want or you could do it like I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna give it a nice little massage and make sure everything stays nice and moist. everything is nice and oiled up you're gonna go ahead and place them facing down I also like to pour in a bit of filtered water and this just helps create a nice little steam bath for your spaghetti squash I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into the oven I'm not actually throwing it but I'm gonna place it into the oven at 400 degrees at for 40 minutes to cook let your spaghetti squash cool a little bit when it comes out of the oven and then go ahead and just start using a fork to pull away the um, butternut squash meat away from the skin and as you can see it literally turns into spaghetti right before your eyes it's pretty cool I love this vegetable and like I said it's a great alternative to your regular pasta and it's gluten free and super healthy I feel like all the Italians would be very proud right now that I can twirl my spaghetti squash on a fork. So you can go ahead and throw this on a plate and make it all presentable for your guests or for yourself. And then I just like to put on my roasted red pepper and tomato pasta sauce lately, which the recipe is coming soon, so stay tuned. And this is it here right now. It's so easy, so delicious. This was featured in my What I Eat in a Day Fall Edition video. The recipe should be coming this Thursday, so stay tuned. It's super easy, just like the spaghetti squash. Thank you so much for watching this Healthy Tip Tuesday. If you guys want to see more of these or if you have a suggestion on what I should film next, leave it down below. If you guys have a question on like how to cook something or like what to do with a certain ingredient, um, I know I did one on chia seeds, that went really well. If you have another like superfood and you don't know what to do, um, then leave that suggestion down below so that way I know like what you guys are looking to see in future videos of these types of videos. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like these ones, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking right here and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye. I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> Bye. In today's video, I am sharing a amazing roasted butternut squash kale salad with a maple tahini dressing.